Let's look at final exam question number two in Electricity Demystified Second Edition. Please refer to page 320. We're talking about the same type of electrochemical battery that we were talking about in the previous question. It comprises an electrolyte solution or paste and metal plates. In this particular example, notice that the plates are connected in parallel. So we're not going to get any higher voltage with four plates here like this than we would get with only two. Just something you might notice. This is a battery uh, of cells connected in parallel. There's one cell. Well, actually, the cells would comprise, yes, these pairs of plates connected in parallel. Some batteries are connected in series to get more voltage. This is a somewhat unconventional example, but it's still a battery because it's more than one cell. The maximum amount of power that we can get out of this thing, all other things being equal, is going to depend on the total combined surface area of all of the plates, the chemical composition of the whole thing, the total combined volume of all of the cells. In this case, they're all in one package. But the bigger the, the bigger the battery, the more power we're going to get, all other things being equal. How about the total combined mass? Well, yes, the more massive a battery, all other things being equal, the more power we can get out of it. So the correct answer in this particular example is E. All of the factors listed will influence the amount of power output that we can get from a battery.